Uh, so, okay. Yeah, so, uh, so, so essentially, what's in these jars is what we use in our school program sometimes to show kids the difference in soil or dirt. Like right here, this one looks like it's a ton of the organic matter we saw earlier. So this looks a lot like that. Um, yeah, let me set that down. These basically look the same, right? And so we like to show them that. So that's how it normally should look like. He's just picking that up. And then this is to show it when it's a little bit more broken down. It looks a little differently. I hear that now. This is sand. So this is just to show them it's a different type of sediment. Uh, it's also fun to like put your finger in there. Oh God, I'm scared. I am legit scared. Waves and jelly spoons. If I could, I would just sleep in a bed of sand. I think a sand bed would be great. As opposed to a water bed? <laughs> oh my god, water beds are the worst. Uh, I've never had that, one. They're awful. Um, they make a ton of noise and they just you feel like I get seasick maybe. <laughs> Uh, so that's so this is like normal soil. This is really soft, like silty soil. So again, this is like just a different type. I really like to show them. And then this is just dirt. Yeah. So this last one, it's just dirt. I don't think there's any nutrients in here. This is to show them that like yeah, it'd be really hard to grow plants in this one, but we can actually make these this like soil here and grow plants better than that. Ah. That is that's what goes on. Okay. <laughs> So what do you do here? In, well, I am a youth apprentice, so I work in the farm. I harvest food. I do whatever Caitlin needs me to do. That's pretty much it. Aww. I also work in class programs, but not very frequently. Once a month. Wow. My program actually just ended, so. What's your favorite thing to do here? Listen train to music me. while I harvest. <laughs> and train to me. So he's an amazing person to train. <laughs> That's about it. Ah. That's my role. <laughs> Hello. So, well, what do you do here? Um, I just volunteer on Tuesdays for a couple hours. I help with the harvest day. Oh, that's it? Uh, yeah, that's all I do. I work with Kelly every Tuesday. Uh, so you, do you have a favorite uh, project? Um, um, wow, English, help. <laughs> so do you have a favorite thing to, to task to, around here? Um, well, so what I would do normally is I harvest the, the microgreens, the peas, and then we package them. So the harvesting is more fun than the packaging part. <laughs> Ah, uh, so how did you, uh, how did you get into uh, volunteering here? Um, I'm actually going to be starting at the University of Minnesota this fall for uh, plant science as my major. Oh, cool. And I wanted to have some, like, hands-on experience, so I've been, I was just asking around, and I went to this training school called Blind Incorporated, um, which is a adjustment to blindness training in Minneapolis. And my old cane instructor, when I was there visiting friends and stuff, um, told me about that Spark Y had visited and they wanted to like have a partner program and they said he was telling me that they always want volunteers so I'm like that'd be perfect and then I got an interview and yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make sure that Come on! Wow! Come on! Come at me, bro! Come on! That is not cocoa powder, so don't attempt to make hot chocolate or chocolate milk with that. Tastes bad. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Hi, you know that we're casting for XXX Men, right? Yeah. So how are you? How? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.